Okay, my next step is to get the uh, frame support legs, these uh, pieces here, in the mid frame, this is the middle one. I'm going to get those cut at an angle to match so I can attach those to the strong back. And what I'm going to do is to split it in half to make the legs. So I'm going to match this angle right here. So when I put the leg on, it'll, it'll, it'll meet in this corner here. Okay, I've cut, cut that. It's, it's an odd angle, so I can meet this over here. See if this leg matches up to this corner, and it should. So I've got two pieces cut with one by splitting one in half. Okay, this is the next step, is to notch this out here. It's uh, it is a uh, inch and a half by three quarter wide notch. This is the mid, uh, the bottom of the boat in the mid frame here. Uh, this is a, this is where the bottom of the boat here meets the side of the boat. Oh, right here is a parallel line three quarter, and then it's kind of nice. The uh, nicely the, uh, the, the square happens to be inch and a half, so I just mark it really fast this way. Here's one cut out. It's all set to go, both sides. Here's the mid frame with the leg attached. What's nice to have at this point is to uh, have a Japanese pull saw and you can just go ahead and notch. Oh, we made it the transfer pieces the same way as the, uh, as the center frame. And we'll uh, just go back with the handsaw, Japanese handsaw, and take the notches out. Here's our three center frames. One was notched out here. I've got to notch the rest of those with the saw. And then I've got the transoms made up, my brother and I put together. And everything's glued together with the PL construction adhesive. And uh, we'll just notch these again with this Japanese handsaw so we don't have to measure as much. Here's a transom piece with a with a notch here, and I'm, what I'm going to do is just cut back into it with a with a jigsaw to expedite this process because we don't really need to really it doesn't matter if the notch is higher or lower. So I'm doing what I did on this side, which is come in it with a with a with a jigsaw and just go right into the corner here. Um, this, this piece of wood actually will be under will be forced up into here anyhow because it's uh, because of the shear line. From the top of the transom down to where it should sit against the strong back is a total of uh, 28 and a half inches. So I'm going to mark those on the legs and get them ready to put on the attach to the strong back. To mark the transom at 28 and a half, uh, just put your put your ruler on the top of the transom, and then uh, make sure down here it's at uh, 28 and a half. And uh, if it is, uh, you can swing an arc, just like in a high school geometry class, to make sure that it's uh, Falls right at 28 and a half. And to uh, just to make sure, I'm going to put, put them on by myself. So I just put a little some cleats on here at the 28 and a half inch line, so that I can then take the so I can take the transom and just uh, set it down on the strong back and have it uh, have it stand up at the right height here. We previously marked the center line of the transom right through here, so I've attached a board that follows the center line, then uh, extended it down to where the center of the strong back would be. And so I just have to uh, move these over just a little bit and uh, line up the center of the transom, and then I can uh, attach the, the legs right to the strong back with, uh, with deck screws. If you look, the strong back has got uh, you got a two by four sitting right here that this is attached to at the bottom, and the transom. It's also the measurement to the bottom of the cleat is right there on top of that two by four. But the center two by four, uh, the measurement is actually the thickness of a two by four up off the off this uh, actual line. If you didn't measure that, you drop the shear line down the thickness of a two by four, and you actually might end up with a reverse shear boat. And also, you'd lose some of your curve on the bottom, and it would be pretty, uh, it'd be pretty flat bottom on. So, this is a, I make sure I check that, so I get that right. Uh, again, to make up our 30 inches, I put cleats on the bottom, measured down right from the very bottom of the boat, down 30 inches, scribed a line across, put a cleat, then built up the strong back to uh, the thickness uh, shown in the plans. Uh, clamped a piece of wood right here on the center line 
we draw and made sure it falls right on the center line of the strong back so I know it's right in the middle of what will eventually be the boat. And I'll screw that together and uh, we'll at least have these three standing. Here's the boat with the three stations all set. You can see I've, uh, with the keel in place, you can see there's going to be quite a, quite a curve to the bottom. We're off the end there, at least a good, uh, looks like eight inches off, so it's got to be bent down and uh, everything's centered. I've got a good feeling it's straight. It looks like it's going to fall right in place. This one fit nicely. We're screwed together here, make sure the distances are right, and uh, we'll be ready to put the, uh, put the stringers and the keel in place.